For the last 10 hours, Global Citizen Live has been broadcasting from around the world. From Mumbai to Paris and London to Rio, the greatest artists are standing in solidarity with activists, calling on leaders to defend our planet and defeat poverty. And now, live from the Greek Theater in Hollywood, California, here's Five Seconds of Summer.
Los Angeles, how are we feeling tonight? Make sure you know. We have, we have five seconds of summer. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. This one's a slower one. If you know it, sing it with us. But if not, take your phone out, turn the light on, make this place look beautiful. This one's called Ghost of You. Get those lights up in the air, come on. Here I am waking up, still can't sleep on your side. There's your coffee cup, the lipstick stain fades with time. If I could dream long enough, you'd tell me I'll be just fine. Just fine. Come on. So I drown it out like I always do, dancing through our house with the ghost of you, and I stay. Los Angeles, how we feeling? Where are we? Um, so this is our first show as a band in, geez, what, almost two years? And we're playing, oh, thank you, and we're playing for such an amazing cause with Global Citizens, an absolute privilege and an honor of us at Five Seconds of Summer. So thank you for being here. Everyone at home, watching, contributing, it's an amazing thing to witness and be a part of. We have one more song left to play. If you know it, please sing it with everything you got. Here we go. Young blood, she want me, she want me. Out of your life, and I'm just a dead man walking tonight. But you need it, you need it, all of this time. Oh, me. 
until the day I die. Surrender everything cause you made me believe you're mine. Yeah, you used to call me baby, now you call me by name. Takes one away, yeah, you beat me in my own damn game. You see, you see, I'm pulling away. Like it's the last goodbye One of us gets too drunk and calls about a hundred times So who are you even calling, baby? Nobody can save my place You looking at those strangers Hope to God you see my face Come on, come on From famine across parts of Africa and Latin America, to drastic climate change, and to our continued fight against COVID-19, we're in a moment of crisis. Citizens from around the world are demanding change. And the biggest artists on the planet are standing with them, calling on leaders to act now. This is Global Citizen Live. From Lagos, Paris, New York City, London, 
Mumbai. Rio de Janeiro. Los Angeles. Johannesburg. Sydney. Seoul. And other stops around the globe. And beyond. Seven continents. 24 hours. Welcome to Global Citizen Live. Please welcome Maggie Q. You just saw the amazing five seconds of summer and tonight we'll be bringing together music, art and activism on this iconic stage at the Greek theater. Over the last 10 hours, artists from every generation and every genre have come together on global citizen stages from Lagos to Paris, from London to New York to put their voice behind the critical issues that are affecting every one of us on this planet. And it's been inspiring to see how music brings us all together, helping us unite to face these global threats. Our continued fight against COVID, our climate crisis reaching a tipping point, and over 41 million people on the verge of starvation across the world. There has never been a more urgent need for unity and action as there is right now. The pandemic has reversed progress and set the world back, but this October, the leaders of the biggest economies in the world will gather for the G20 summit. They have within them the power to make changes that will affect everyone. And citizens around the world are watching and tonight taking action to defend the planet and defeat poverty. In Washington next week, Congress is considering the most ambitious climate legislation ever to cut emissions 50% by 2030. And in a month's time at that meeting of the G20, we need our world leaders to increase movement on climate change and address the neglected hunger crisis. And we need them to do it now. No matter who you are, where you're from, or what you look like, you are a citizen of the world. And as a global citizen, you know the challenges we all face. Climate crisis, inequality, poverty, injustice. It's time for our generation to realize it's just us. Just us. In the villages and cities and suburbs, just us. Advocating on social media and protesting in the streets, just us. Who will inherit the future problems created by the past if we don't seize upon this unique moment? We have the unprecedented power to unite as one and move the world to start a movement. Activism requires action. Be the ripple that starts the wave. We have to take action if we want to see change. They ask why now? I ask, why not? We don't have time to debate over time. This is our moment to demand action, to challenge the leaders of the world, to create a better future. What we do today determines our tomorrow. Why now? Because the power is in your hands. We are together in this fight. Please welcome Jojo. I'm honored to be here with you all at the historic Greek theater surrounded by these beautiful towering trees. I think we're all feeling a little small as a part of this global moment tonight. Right now, less than 200 miles away, there are wildfires burning out of control throughout Sequoia National Park, caused by severe conditions created by climate change. And they're threatening to destroy massive ancient trees that have been living there for thousands of years. If our leaders continue to ignore the problem, we will continue to watch the world burn around us. It's so important next Tuesday that Congress votes to cut emissions by 50% before the decade ends. Let's speak up and defend our planet together. Here's one way you can do that right now. Download the Global Citizen app and start taking action against climate change and poverty. Thank you. I'm so excited to introduce this next performer. 
someone who is never afraid to let their voice be heard and is a passionate force in making the world a better place. My friend, Demi Lovato! I tried to talk to my guitar, talk to my imagination, confided into alcohol. I tried and tried and tried some more, told secrets till my voice was sore. Tired of empty conversations, cause no one hears me anymore. A hundred million stories and a hundred million songs, I feel so when I sing, nobody's listening to me. Nobody's listening. I talk to shooting stars, but they always get it wrong. I feel stupid when I pray. So why am I praying anyway? If nobody's listening, anyway. I feel stupid when I sing Nobody's listening to me Nobody's listening Thank you Thank you so much I am so happy to be here Thank you so much for having me One more for you. Daily races, 
Tears are filling up their glasses. No expression, no expression. Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying. To tell you, I find it hard to take when people run in circles. It's a very, very mad world. Please give it up for Adam Lambert. Children waiting for the day. Everyone, please keep it going for Adam Lambert. There's something missing and I'm pissed and I got something to say.
Planting trees is one way of helping to sequester carbon dioxide. It's also a way to improve human health. Together we can change the world. I truly believe that helping to restore ecosystems and to protect rainforests is one of the ways that we can help to slow down climate change, to give us time to work together to fight global warming. With knowledge comes responsibility. When you educate yourself, you can educate others and make an impact on the world around you. The Verizon Innovative Learning Program made me much more interested in robotics. And I was able to study the past and think about how that could change the future. I want to leave the world better than when I got here. I think it's all of our responsibility. Please welcome singer-songwriter Fozia, who is an international refugee committee ambassador, and Dena Tahirzadeh from the IRC. Around the world, over 80 million people have been forced to flee their homes. Climate change, COVID-19, and conflict only make matters worse. The International Rescue Committee helps people affected by these crises to survive, recover, and rebuild their lives. One of the countries the IRC has been providing critical aid in the longest is Afghanistan. Today, we're determined to stay and deliver urgent assistance to families who need support. And in the US, IRC staff and volunteers have welcomed more than 2,000 Afghan refugees and special immigrant visa recipients. I just returned from working with some of these families in Virginia and Wisconsin, and we're preparing to receive thousands more around the country. At the IRC, we believe in the power of welcome and stand with refugees today, tomorrow, and always. Our partner, Google.org, stands with us. Over the years, they've provided over $15 million in support for our mission. Tonight, we're proud to announce that Google.org has increased support for our response in Afghanistan as we expand the interagency signpost project, which connects refugees with critical information. And they're coming alongside the IRC to help defend our planet, making a $1.1 million commitment to climate resiliency in Nigeria. Together, we can all make a difference by supporting and welcoming refugee families. Thank you, shukran, merci. Please welcome Scott Evans. Good evening, LA. Thank you for being with us and bringing that incredible energy tonight. In the last couple of years, we've seen so many moments grow to be massive movements 
that drive real change. You've shown up and proven time and time again that people have the power. From gender inequity to Black Lives Matter, from every town for gun control to the work Global Citizen is doing focused on climate and the hunger crisis, there has never been more of a need for activism or a greater opportunity for people of all generations to get involved in a cause. Take a look at some of the raw passion we've seen around the world today. Incredible energy and incredible moments from around the world, but there is more work to do. This next band is doing their part by offsetting 150% of their tour's CO2 emissions and raising money to fight climate change, combat homelessness, and provide COVID-19 relief. Please join me in welcoming the Lumineers! How you feeling out there, Lawson? I was clean, a Petra. I was young and an actress. When you knelt by my mattress and asked for my hand. But I was sad that you asked it. As I laid in a black dress with my father in a casket, I had no plan. And I left the footprints, the mud stained on the car, and they hardened like my heart did when you left town. But I must admit it that I would marry you in an instant. So damn your wife, I'd be your mistress just to have you. I was late for this, late for that, late for the love of my life, and when I die alone, when I die alone, die on me all the time, while the church discouraged any less, it burned within me, it's my flesh, it was my curse. So I drive the taxi and the 
Catch a crack in the windshield side and the light in your eye Alone on the freeway I'll be your bright side, baby
I think this night's about love. This night's about helping other people. And uh, this next song, I think, fits really well with that. This is going to be our last song. Thank you guys for uh, giving us your time tonight. And to Global Citizen for having us once again. Uh, I hope, hope some of you know these words, but uh, the words are keep your head up and keep your love. So if you want to help us sing that chorus, jump right in, raise your voices up.
Obrigado. Let's get real quiet out there. All right, a little bit louder now, Los Angeles. out there. We're called the Lumineers. We're from Denver, Colorado. Thank you for having us. You guys are in for a beautiful night tonight. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Now. Enjoy the rest of your night. Access to education is important because education is a weapon to fight against poverty. Ten years ago, I was a single mom living in a domestic violence shelter. Empower allowed me the access to opportunities and they connected me with worldwide technology. I am really making a step in breaking generational poverty in my family and it is my responsibility to mentor others as a way to uplift my community out of poverty. I'm doing it. Please welcome, please welcome Sarish Sayani. Good evening, Los Angeles. <laughs> As global citizens, we know forests are critical to the health of our planet. They don't just filter air pollution, they sequester carbon, 
regulate global temperatures, and even act as flood barriers. But the loss of forests around the world is on a scale unseen in our planet's history. We cannot stand by. We need to invest in conserving, restoring, and growing more trees. And we need to invest now. Today, Aspiration is committing to save an additional 25 million trees by the end of 2022 in partnership with Global Citizen and 1T.org, putting our total pledge at 125 million trees through 2030, one of the largest pledges made by any company. We are proud to be a part of the movement to defend the planet, and we invite our peers, our partners, and all of you to join us. Thank you. We made history, but more importantly, we made a difference. Over 30 years later, the biggest artists in the world are continuing that legacy, and that's beautiful. We are united to take action and demand change. Together, we can end world hunger and make sure that no child ever goes to bed hungry again. We need to demand that world leaders commit to end hunger by contributing to famine relief efforts and providing meals to those in need. We have a chance with Global Citizen Live to make history, but more importantly, we have the power to make a better future. That's important. Please welcome a symbol of love, tolerance, and compassion, Stevie Wonder. that we again acknowledge that we are committed to being the global citizens that will make a difference to what is happening in this world. I've got some great people here with me tonight, great musicians. Oh, that's my daughter, Sophia. Hey, what's up? And a few of my family members are here as well. Wife and family, children. But listen, tonight... It's about us making a difference. Tonight, it's not just about talking about it, singing about it, playing about it. It's about being about it. Are y'all with it? And I have the pleasure of joining me on this stage tonight, someone that I admire tremendously. Her talent, her writing, her ability as a musician, her singing. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, her! What's amazing about this next song, or this first song, is that, oh my God, this song is older than me. <laughs> 49 years ago, in New York, when I was on the Stones tour, and we think of the Stones, and I think about Charlie Watts, that we acknowledge tonight, the great drummer. We talk many times about beats and rhythms, but this particular night, I was off on the tour and I wanted to go in the studio so I went into Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland studio and I wrote this song and I started off with the drums well tonight I'm not gonna play the drums but Stanley Randolph is gonna hit it off right now let's get it Yeah. 
This next song is a song that I wrote on the piano, just had the melody, but I kept saying over, 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 and I want to try to figure out how to say some words, all the words saying like over this and over this, over, over love, over her, over her, over them, over that. But anyway, I want to do this song for you, give you with all my love. Here we go. Time. I've been building my castle of love Just for two Though you never knew you were my reason I've gone much too far For you now to see that I've got to throw my castle away over dreams I have picked up become true Though you never knew it was of you I've been dreaming
You know what? I got to say to all of you that I think I thank Barry Gordy Jr. for giving me the opportunity to use to use my voice to allow me to use the voice that God gave me. To use the talent that God had given me in a time where there were those who didn't believe. And that's why I know that without question, even when that man, that preacher long ago when I was eight years old said to me, you know why you don't see? Because you don't believe. But you know what? I know I believe. And just as I believe, and just as I believe in the Almighty, I know that I know and I believe that all of you at the end of the day, after all the confusion and mixed expressions and people saying this and that and talking about you, that I know, I know that all of you real human beings, conscious human beings of whatever ethnicity, persuasion or whatever you are, that you will do the best to make this planet a better place. I put my life on it. Now, no, 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 I got a more to say, a more to say. Now this next song, I want to talk about it for a moment. 11 years ago, in 2010, on January the 11th, I celebrated the birthday of my granddaughter. On the same birthday, of my dearly departed mother, Lula May. And my son Keita and his significant other decided to name their daughter the same as my mother, Lula May. But not just that. Thinking about life and lost and living and dying, I wrote this song. When I finished the song the next day, I learned of the uh, earthquake that had happened in Haiti. And that song, this song became so much more meaningful to me then and now. We cannot be global citizens and not care about all global citizens equally. <laughs> equally. What are we? What are the living doing? We, the living, must care. Care about Haiti, who has had so much pain for so long. We, the living, 
must commence to put our words into action by making life in room for our global citizens who need a home. We the living must remember it's not about religion. It's about the relationship with the God you have, that relationship. We the living must share if we have more or we are killing life. Life on this planet, life in Haiti, life at the border, life as we know it. We are becoming the living, killing life. But no, that cannot be allowed. As a global citizen, individually, nor global citizens collectively. In this world, we are citizens. In this world, who should never not love on our planet, never not love on our people, never not love on principle, nor never not love on equality. Because if you don't, and are not loving in this way, you are not a true global citizen. So what do we do? We deal with those things that are killing our planet. We deal with those things in those conditions that are suppressing the human person. We do all the things contrary to anything that have to do with the perpetuation of life. We be are as we are meant to be, all on the same page, no matter what color, ethnicity, persuasion we are. Party we might belong to, I don't care about none of that stuff. What I care about is us putting our love out there and showing it. So I'm planning to release this song, which is called The Living Killing Life. And um, I love you too. So this song I'm going to, um, with the help of the United Nations, the emergency CRF, I'm going to release it. And I want you all to buy it like it's a loaf of bread. Because they are the most assured way the funds will get to the people that need the help the most. All right? I had to say that. Are y'all with me? Yeah. All right. I wanted to be billions, not for my pocket, but for the people that need it. Thank you. Let's hit it. I'm going to stand with y'all.
Thank you. I love you. Now for the last 10 hours, we've been witnessing something absolutely amazing. Music from around the world, uniting citizens everywhere to come together and to fight for our planet. The response has been overwhelming. 28.4 million actions taken by global citizens to date. Tweets, emails, calls, and petitions that have all led to huge commitments. In Paris, we saw key commitments on hunger, climate, and vaccine equity. Take a look at this. Je suis donc très heureuse de vous annoncer notre contribution de 140 millions d'euros pour la sécurité alimentaire. Pour celles et ceux qui souffrent de vagues de chaleur qui euh, assaillent désormais chaque été et qui ne peuvent pas profiter d'un jardin, d'un espace vert quand euh, les températures grimpent, eh bien oui, nous allons planter 170 000 arbres d'ici 2026 et créer 300 nouveaux îlots de fraîcheur qui seront accessibles à toutes et à tous. With your support, we can create a brighter future for millions of the world's poorest people currently struggling to survive and feed their families. Let the world leaders hear your voice. Avec votre soutien, nous pouvons gagner la lutte contre la faim. Alors, mettons-nous tous au travail maintenant. Vive la Vive Africa! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> This next duo, we've all watched as they exploded onto the scene. I am so proud to welcome to the stage the incredible, the talented, five-time Grammy nominees, Chloe and Halle. Get it right, baby. Just know I'll. 
This one, sing it with me. Why well, keep flossing like I do? Why well, keep flossing like I do? Why well, keep flossing like I do? Why well, keep costing like it? All these assets in my jeans, who can't get up in me? You're trying to get up in the lead. Boy, you looking at me like I ain't give you no choice. If I count to three, where you be on your knees, you will. Out of your, he say he like that lappy tappy. He's so goofy, call me. He go stupid, he go daffy. Introduce me to it. He can never live without me, baby. Hey, if he got it like that, like that, I can take it, take it there. Cause my Lord, why well, keep crossing like I? Why keep crossing like I? Why keep crossing like I? This last song 
is dedicated to all of you beautiful souls out here. Thank you for doing good and putting out good energy. It's for you all. All the cool people out there in the world, I love you so much, sister, and I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy to be up on this stage with you. So I'm dedicating this one to you.
Reducing carbon emissions is the number one way we mitigate climate change. So Remora is building the technology to capture carbon emissions from semi-trucks. I'm doing this because there's no time to wait for a better solution to come along. And we have a solution that could work, so we're going to force it into existence. Our hope is that for the next generation, climate change is not the problem we have to solve. I stand for abundance and dignity and joy for myself and all others. That means everyone should have access to local, fresh food. It's an injustice that they don't. And so our mission here at the farm is to change systems and bring food security to under-resourced community members, our neighbors. Our collective well-being demands it, and it requires all of us to step in and engage. COVID-19 stopped the world in its tracks. Lives cut short and impacts on global systems like food distribution has pushed many of the world's most vulnerable communities to the brink of famine. It is essential that we do all we can to curb this famine, which is accelerating in part due to climate change. It is an emergency on multiple fronts. As temperatures rise, water runs out and CO2 fills our atmosphere, food production will keep falling and distribution networks become even harder to maintain. It's essential that we rebalance our climate and restore a billion trees by the end of 2022. Trees keep the planet cool. They also help the planet breathe by converting carbon dioxide into clean, pure oxygen. We only have one planet. We have to act now. Some of us, like governments and businesses, have the power to make big changes that everyone can do something to prevent global warming from reaching beyond 1.5 degrees Celsius. Reduce the volume of single-use plastic. Cut back on meat. Buy fair trade. Compost. Ride a bike. And here's an easy one. Plant a tree. Hey, plant two trees. We need to get to a billion trees by the end of 2022. So let's start now. Earth is our home and it's under threat. So keep using your voice. Together, we can defend our planet. Thank you to our presenting partner of Global Citizen Live in Los Angeles, Verizon. Now, please welcome activists from Youth Climate Strike LA and Stand LA. Forests play an essential role in combating climate change. Planting trees can literally save our planet, and we need everybody to get involved. Last year, the One Trillion Trees Initiative was launched, securing commitments from leaders around the world. But when we must hold our elected officials accountable through social media and through calling their offices to demand climate justice. The goal, oh, sorry. The goal of One Trillion Trees by 2030 would capture about two-thirds of CO2 pr produced by humans. You can play an active role in your community by partnering with a local nursery or joining us. At an average cost of 30 cents, planting indigenous trees is the single most effective way to fight climate change. Call your local public works as many towns and cities offer seedlings for free. And remember, no one is illegal on stolen land. The time for action is now. So be part of the solution. Plant a tree. Plant a tree, protect our air, and protest your government officials. I know the effects of breathing polluted air. You have to keep on. Okay. For me, it was an oil well in front of my house. As a community, we fought and shut it down. We call upon our leaders attending November's UN Climate Change Conference to put the future of our planet first. Make your voice heard. Now. Now. We grew up listening to our next performers, and now we get to introduce them. Global citizens, please welcome Mika! Global City, you ready for the Migos? 
Well, let's do it. Papa was a Rolling Stone, but now I got Rolling Stones in the belt. Okay. Mama at home all alone, hustling, trying to keep this shit together. Let's go. Young niggas smoking on gas, I'm living too fast, my foot on the pedal. Okay. If I go back to the past, my niggas ain't know we'll be rocking Coachella. Hey. If a nigga ever try me or play me, I buy him my ice dash shovel. Ice. Dig your own grave, nigga, you pledge yourself. I put some cash on your schedule. You if a bitch ever try to fillet me, huh? I just sit back and let her. She got it. Think she come up off the chores, whatever. My pockets came with extra chips. Let's go. I can see through the fuck shit. Fuck shit. I think that my skills get better. Get better. With a stick, I'm at peace, Mandela. Mandela. I'm willing to feed whoever. Who? How can I help you? Nobody judge you but God. God. You can watch us beat the odds. Beat it. This ain't no cut, no facade. Young, rich, and black, and we gon' be the charge. Uh. I'm spending cash, no uh -oh. Like in her natural ass, Let's no fraud. Oh. If she got a fake ass, of course, girl, ain't nothing wrong with anything she enjoys. From the back, from the back, we enjoy. Honey, rack, I'm a tag with my boy. Clip poking out, we be showing. Sure. In there by the check out, we be known. In and out, in and out, we be going. Go. On a 757. And my AP say size is the phone. Oh. Better get you some bread where you from. I spread my meals on the crib. Match Cover myself up and then it's my shield. I spread the dime, go run you a drill. Yeah. If you do the time, come home to a meal. Yeah. Double my seal, Double. sign another deal. Cheese, six pills, G money, give me chill. I make the bitch hit a knee, she kneel. I make the stick hit when I'm in the field. I make your bitch lick it up like ill. Spend a hundred racks on the teeth, not a grill. Licking at your diamonds on your neck, ain't real. Nigga, you a bitch, let the drink go. Heard what I said. Spinning your block every day till you dead.
100%. We got that in 100 round two. Go for Citizens in LA, we love y'all. Thank y'all for having us. Me go! Before I get him off this stage, on the count of three, I want you to say the loudest Migo you ever said in your life. You ready? One, two, three! Smallholder farmers are key to ending hunger and poverty on the African continent and the world. However, they often fall between the cracks. At One Acre Fund, with cities financing and banking platform, we are bringing investments and supplies to farmers, empowering them to build prosperous communities and transform their futures. Conservation is action, and you can learn so much from being out in nature. My experiences filming wildlife around the world, from great white sharks to mountain gorillas, has had a profound effect on my own perspective. We are all connected. As a YouTube creator, I see myself as an ambassador for wildlife and environmentalism, and helping everyone understand how the small actions you can take can lead to a big change to protect our planet. Please welcome back JoJo. When our next performer saw the devastating effect of wildfires in California, he was inspired to create this next piece. Here to perform Mineral King, please welcome Shulman Smith and Daisy Jacobson. I got a friend named Mineral King. She falls asleep when she sings. Hides deep in the tall trees under autumn leaves. She wants to sell all the mineral things. Mine gold, see what it brings. See your face in the movies, the silver screen. When you down. Got the whole thing figured out. The world's not burning, it's just us worried about. The world's not burning, it's just us worried about. When you drive down the middle king, it's like you step into a time machine. Where you find Walt Disney and his fantasy When you're staring at Mineral King It's like you look into a slot machine You see berries, bars, and fast cars And think you're winning Got the whole thing figured out. The world's not burning, it's just us we're worried about. The world's not burning, it's just us we're worried about. Figured out. The world's not burning, it's just. 
just as worried about The world's not burning It's just as worried about As part of Global Citizen Live, leaders from government and in business in Paris, Mumbai, Rio, New York, Lagos, and London have stepped up and committed to fulfill their duty to defend the planet and defeat poverty. Any action, big or small, can make a difference. Find out what you can do by going to gc.live, sign the petition, and then retweet it, share it you'll be joining the 28.4 million actions already taken by global citizens leading to these major commitments. More than $1.1 billion, 157 million trees, and more than 60 million COVID-19 vaccines were announced by many partner organizations during the Global Citizen Live campaign. Here are some of the highlights from earlier today in New York. My wife and I believe the way you're born should not dictate your ability to survive. Especially when the treatments exist to keep you safe. So, global citizens, we ask you tonight, do you think we should start treating the access, access to the vaccine as basic human rights? citizens, global citizens, we love you all, took action and made your voices heard. And I am pleased to share with you that the government of Germany provided us today with a, with a pledge of 50 million euros and the European Commission with another 25 million euros. And more is to come from this beautiful country this coming week. And we welcome more of you to support us and say that education cannot wait for any child. Global citizens, you've already done so much to make a difference. Won't you join us in this fight to make this program a reality here in the U.S. and in countries around the world? Thank you. From the Los Angeles City Fire Department, please welcome Captain 2 Eric Scott, Firefighter David Ortiz, and Firefighter Samantha Prado. On behalf of the Los Angeles City Fire Department, we're honored to join you this evening. The wildfire season is happening right now in California and across the West. It's starting earlier and ending later each year. And climate change is considered a key driver of this trend as the length of our fire season is continually increasing. The 2020 California wildfire season was a record-setting year with over 4 million acres burned, twice as many as the previous year. This year, we're on pace to surpass that, and scientists expect severe fires will continue to become more common. All three of us have witnessed these intense fires firsthand, 
and how they have a lasting impact on the ecosystem. As we face another busy fire season, we encourage people living in brush areas to learn more about the Ready, Set, Go program. This is truly a global cause. Our mission is to protect lives, property, and the environment, and we hope all global citizens join us in protecting the planet. Thank you. And now, please welcome Ozuna. Aunque no pretendo quedarme me da un poco de ansiedad Y aunque en la vida todo se puede, esté bien o esté mal Pero podré vivir con la culpa de que al menos una vez más Y te volví a probar Tu boca no pierde el sabor, la cara Y es muy atractiva, porque 
de la sativa, siempre provocativa, soltera vive la vida. Esta España que se ve bien exclusiva. Todos los domingos por con todas las conviaditas y dale, me ve, mátame, dice dale, baby, maltrátame. Si quieres irte viaje, solo déjame saber. Si te enamoras, yo nada voy a perder. Ya tú eres mía, y dale, dale, ven, ven, mátame, dice dale, baby, maltrátame. Si quieres irte viaje, solo déjame saber.
se caiga, se pierde la arena y el mar. Estaré soñando yo, se ve tan tropical, el sol es más que llama y quiero. Baby, hay cuerpo natural, no tiene color. Se pierde la arena y el mar. Estaré soñando y se ve tan tropical. El sol está que quema y quiero. Le dije, baby, ¿qué pasó? Para el agua que hace calor. truly live on an ocean planet. With plastic pollution, potentially 700 species are threatened. I think it's urgent that we solve this problem now. So we're following a two-pronged approach. We're intercepting plastic in rivers, and we're also cleaning the plastic that's already floating in the oceans. I truly believe that to solve a problem, rather than fighting against the things that we don't agree with, it's much more effective to build towards a future that we do agree with.
Climate change isn't just a climate problem, it's a biodiversity problem, and it's a human problem. Today, we have the tools to address these challenges simultaneously. With Accenture in Indonesia, for example, we're planting fruit trees on farmers' lands. That not only removes carbon from the atmosphere, but it also diversifies their income and increases biodiversity on their farmland. We're working with Accenture on many projects like this around the world. We believe we can make the biggest impact when we invest in both people and in nature. Today, more than 800 million people will go to bed hungry. Hunger is poverty at its worst, taking away health, dignity, opportunity. It affects people everywhere, and hunger is on the rise. Inequality, injustice, conflict, climate change, COVID, causing a perfect storm, increasing hunger at every turn, threatening us all. But we can change this if we act now to change the food system so it puts people first, to produce food more sustainably and waste less, to provide nutritious meals for all, to make healthy food affordable for all, and to campaign against hunger. This is our to-do list to end hunger. A radical transformation in how we manage, consume, and distribute the planet's food isn't just possible, it's a life-saving necessity. We must end hunger if we are to defeat poverty and achieve the global goals. And we are the people who can at last get this done. Those first few weeks when the pandemic hit were really filled with a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fears, but there was also a sense of Maybe this thing is not real. Maybe it's not going to hit South Africa. To date, Africa has reported over 8.1 million cases of COVID-19 and claimed over 206,000 lives. And the true figures are likely higher. Our main goal right now is to vaccinate at least 60, up to 70% of our population, so that if we have that immunity, we can move forward. Amidst a devastating third wave, while richer nations accumulate surplus and make plans to give boosters, the majority of African citizens remain without access to the vaccines they need. Currently in South Africa, we are at a 28% coverage of the first shot. So right now as a country, we are not even in a position to think of booster shots. In Africa... Dr. John Kengasong, director of the Africa Centers for Disease Control, is working with partners to ensure Africa has enough vaccines to protect at least 70% of people in each country. As we speak as a continent of 1.3 billion people, only about 3.5% of the population have been fully immunized by the COVID vaccines, which is extremely unfortunate. To change our future, Africa CDC has joined forces in solidarity with researchers, scientists, and local manufacturers to establish a mRNA vaccine technology transfer hub based in South Africa. The hub in Africa, it begins to allow you to produce those vaccines locally. Global pharmaceutical leaders can support this effort if they make that choice. If we should work together and make sure that everyone has herd immunity, we can all, as a world, move past this pandemic. No one is protected until everybody is protected. Please welcome Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Global Citizen Live has been broadcasting live across the globe for the last 12 hours and will continue for the next 12 hours, which is which is past my bedtime, because I am a dad. I have two kids. I have two boys. They're four and six years old. And they have had dinner every night of their lives. Now, they don't always want their dinner, right? Sometimes it's hard to get them to eat it. And, and sometimes I'll tell them, you know, there are a lot of kids out there who would love to be eating dinner tonight, but they can't because their families don't have enough food, right? And I can only 
Imagine what that must be like to be a dad whose child is hungry and asking for dinner and having to say to them, I'm sorry, but we don't have enough. That, that is a moment that no parent should ever, ever, ever have to experience, right? And I think this is something that we can all agree on. No matter who we are, no matter where we live, no matter what our politics, all kids should be able to have dinner. Let's be the generation of parents that finally make sure that all parents everywhere have enough food to give to their kids. We can do it if we all work together, all of us. So thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next artist has been a tireless voice for justice, and she has brought her unifying message and music here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing Her! Everybody thinks we won't. Who are they to judge us? Simply cause we wear our head long. You know. Her. Y'all ready to have a good time tonight? Da 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 This ain't living, no, 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 no. Set. Inflation, listen, no chance to increase finance. Bills my love, sky high. Send that boy off to die. so blessed to be here tonight. I want y'all to know that we are stronger together. I want you to know that and remember that. Bloody waters drowning every day every day It feels like I'm running 
slow motion And I'm losing the race Oh, oh. Ooh, so frustrating Ooh, keep on taking Ooh, corporate races Ooh, got me breaking It's all I hear is Silence from every Since about it, tired of hearing about it. When we ain't talking about it, cause we don't wanna see. Can't make no sense about it, get so anxious about it. We keep talking around it, reassess the air, yeah. speculate, caution signs, incriminate people's minds. More in love, don't combine. Destiny doesn't roll it out. Save me mind under attack, spiritual kind, wasting you decide. Destiny doesn't want to die.
Can I play my bass? So many beautiful faces tonight. I just feel so blessed to be a part of something, something so beautiful and so great that is changing the world. I, I never imagined that my music could do that. So thank you so much. We're gonna do it like this.
Can we pick it up a little bit? Can y'all rock out with us? I need y'all to clap. Come on.
hand They said I won't come up with the family Cop a couple Grammys All the things they said that I can't be revenge Tastes just like candy And now we eating up in Paris with a view Oh, you know I always wanted to Oh, you know I always wanted to Wanted you All those nights Hoping that we find it Citizen, can I play my guitar? want to build the next generation of conservation leaders and environmental stewards, we have to co-power our youth, especially youth in communities that historically lack access and representation. The 2020 Hilton Effect Grant is creating opportunities for BIPOC youth to experience nature and conservation. They're the future and we need to give them the skills to feel empowered to make the change that they want to see. I grew up in Australia, fishing frogs from the toilet and rescuing beached sea turtles. Yet at age 11, I learned just how under threat our natural world really was. Today, climate science shows us we have about a 50-50 chance to avoid the worst of climate tipping points. We have an opportunity to redesign the systems we've inherited and for young people today to step up and become custodians of a future by our own design. Please welcome Vice Chairman and President of Strategic Growth from MasterCard, Michael Froman. Nine years ago, at the first Global Citizen Festival, 60,000 people gathered on the Great Lawn in Central Park, joined in their shared passion for advocacy and music. The energy from that day carried us here nearly a decade later. It's my hope we keep that momentum going. We keep coming together, we keep taking action, we keep making contributions to protect our most precious assets, people and the planet. I hope we take our energy from tonight and turn it even to more action. And to that end, I'm honored to share that MasterCard is committing a total of $10 million to the World Food Program to end hunger and to Conservation International to continue restoring forests around the world. Taking action to provide support for people and the planet is a responsibility we all share. Thank you. There are several reasons why we are concerned about the situation of anyone who lives on the other side of the world. The first one is that we are human beings. 
and we can never remain oblivious to the suffering of others, wherever they are. It's not normal that the birth of place makes uh, the future of your hopes of life. Global citizenship means as someone who combines their passion with compassion and asks, what can I do for others? We should extend our compassion to those who were not fortunate enough to be dealt with good cards. People who are uh, hungry, they don't have the energy to focus on other things and to focus on their life. So I think it is more than time now that we need to act now um, and to take our responsibility. We have to recognize the severity of the problem with refugees and right now with COVID-19. That argues for vaccination, for availability and access for everyone because we're all living on the same planet. The science was an extraordinary miracle. We got this vaccine out, boom, 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 boom. Okay, then everybody started to take control of their vaccine assets. Those who were producers grabbed their production assets, put export limits. God help us if this is what we're going to do on climate change, because that's a lot harder. Everything that is happening on this earth will affect other people directly or indirectly. Because if people go hungry, if, if we have a health crisis, if we have a pandemic like we have today, uh, we see the effects everywhere else. The pandemic has shown us our fragility as individuals and that all these challenges remain and are more urgent than ever. If I ruled the world, I would invest in the education of women and girls because when women succeed, all societies do. This really makes me crazy to think that some men think that they know better what a woman has to do than the woman herself. I will never accept that, never. A global citizen is aware of the fact that we all share one planet, one health, one common destiny, and that every one of us matters. Please welcome Congresswoman Waters. Right now, our world is at an inflection point. And as a global community, we aren't just fighting a pandemic or climate change, we're also in a battle to defeat poverty and hunger once and for all. As we speak, the latest estimates indicate that 1.6 billion people on this planet live in an adequate shelter. 689 million live in extreme poverty and millions of our children. The reason we fight for a brighter future are vulnerable to hunger, poverty, and yes, a lack of credible health care. This pandemic has revealed the deep inequities that exist on this planet. And it has shown us just how interconnected how crucial, how important we are to the health and well-being of our brothers and sisters around the world. As a testament to this, I'd like for us to take a moment to recognize the plight of the Haitian migrants in search of a better life who have been so reprehensibly treated at the U.S. border by government cowboys using their reins as whips. These Haitian migrants are fleeing violence, an unstable government, and destruction caused by devastating earthquakes. So as a Congresswoman, I ask of my country, where is our compassion? And to our global community, I tell you that I know we can and we must do better. Our duty as humans and global citizens requires that we continue to shine a light on the need to join hands around the world to eliminate hunger and poverty, get people vaccinated, and ensure every person is treated with the dignity and respect humanity requires of all of us. Thank you so very much for having me. Please welcome Michaela J. Rodriguez. 
Hey, you guys, I am thrilled to announce that throughout today, more commitments have been made. Cisco, City, PNG, and Delta have joined the race to zero, committing to cut their emissions in half by 2030. We hope more and more companies, cities, and partners join this race, not towards the finish line, but towards a new beginning. When we work together, nothing is impossible. Zero. For too long, we've been taught that it means nothing. But think about it for a moment. Think about it this way. Zero COVID-19. Zero hunger. Zero poverty. That sure would be something. Now, imagine zero carbon emissions. The kind of emissions that send the temperatures soaring, winds howling, floods raging, fires blazing everywhere. So zero carbon would mean the world to the billions of people dealing with destruction's path. Imagine zero to all of it. And guess what? We're on it. The race to zero has begun. Just a year ago, a group of big dreamers said, what if we get everyone to commit to cut our emissions in half by 2030 and then push for zero? Who would join us? Today, 3,067 companies, 733 cities, 3,000 hospitals, 173 investors, and 622 educational institutions are in the race. Companies are already at work, adjusting supply chains, how they generate energy. They're reaching out to other CEOs, building coalitions, and joining together to defend the planet before it's too late. Today, we welcome more partners who have signed on to the most important race of our lifetime, the race to zero. And we need more to follow their lead because it's not enough. And more than 100 of the world's major carbon emitters still have not joined the fight. So are you ready to enter this race toward a healthier, fairer, cleaner, and safer world? Are you in? Because when it comes to defending this planet, zero isn't nothing. It's everything. All right, you guys, now please welcome One Republic! Let's go, let's go, let's go! What's up, Los Angeles? Everybody else around the world just waking up. Yesterday, I found myself in the city near Piccadilly. Don't really know how I got here. Got some pictures on my phone, new names and numbers that I don't know. I dress to places like Abbey Road. Day turns to night, night turns to whatever we want. We're young enough to see. Oh, this is gotta be good love. This is gotta be good love. Let's screw it. So Paris to China to Colorado Sometimes it's airplanes you can't jump out Sometimes bullshit that don't work now We got the stories But please tell me eh, 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 What's there to complain about When you're happy like a fool You let it take you over
is called I Live. Hope when you take that jump, you don't fear the fall. Now hope when the water rises, you build a wall. I hope when the crowd screams out, the screaming your name. Now hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. Hey, the only way you can know you give it all you have. Oh, and hope that you don't suffer but take the pain. I hope when your moment comes that you say. very much. Hey, um, this is crazy. Five different countries around the world. Um, Los Angeles, you big, beautiful, wonderful city. You thanks for showing up tonight. I know it's still a little freaky out there with COVID. We had to cancel some shows, some tours. COVID's kind of, uh, you know, been a mess for us as well. Yeah, boo, boo, <laughs> boo. Nobody likes a pandemic. That sucks. All right. Um, but honestly, it, it, it means the world to us that you're gathered here. This is our third ticketed show since March 2020. So God bless you guys. Thanks for showing up tonight. We're here for a good cause. Let's get it. We're going to rip through some songs quick. Let's go. Brent Kutzel on cello. We have a beautiful quartet back here to the right. Thank you. I need another story Something to get off my chest My life gets kind of boring Need something that I can confess Till on my sleeves I stain red From all the truth that I've said Come by you honestly, I swear Thought you saw me wait, no I've been on the brink, so Tell me what you want to hear Don't need another perfect line 
Don't care if critics ever jump in line. I'm gonna give away. We're giving them away. Some of you guys might know this song. Look, this is a, a lot of artists gathered here. It's an honor to play with her, amigo Stevie Wonder, my God. Azuna, there's so many beautiful, incredible artists. Um, I know a lot of their songs, and I know some of you guys came to see different scatters of artists. If you know this next song, feel free to sing along. If you don't know this next song, happy 8th birthday. Ten feet off the ground I'm hearing what you say But I just can't make a sound No You tell me that you need me And you go and cut me down The way You tell me that you're sorry Didn't think I'd turn around I say it's too late to apologize It's too late I said it's too late to apologize It's too late Yeah Take another chance, take a fall, take a shot Thank you very much. A couple more at you, um, if that's okay. A couple more. I'm a sucker for sing-along, so we're trying to keep it lean and mean tonight, all right? Yes. We're out in these streets in LA. Global broadcast. Um, this, just, this next song, we're gonna do a snippet of it before we get to something I think all you're all gonna know. This next song, came off an album we were going to put out uh, May of 2020 
and then we didn't for obvious reasons, and we put it out a month ago. And this, this song, we're going to do a verse chorus. It's called Someday. I like it a lot. I'm biased. I hope you like it. Some days I'm treading the water and feel like it's getting deep. Some nights I drown in the weight of the things that I think I need. Oh, sometimes I feel incomplete. Yeah, but you always say. Someday when we're older, we'll be shining like we're gold. Yeah, won't we? Won't we? Yeah, that's right. Someday when we're older, I'll be yours and you'll be my babe. Happy, happy. Oh, you say someday when we're older, we'll worry about the things that we don't need. Someday we'll be all that we need. We need. Someday we'll be all that we need. We need. Oh, we need. Oh, yeah. Someday down the line, before we both run out of time, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. And someday down the line, before we both run out of time, you're gonna see. Oh, this someday will be all that we need. Guys, this has been phenomenal. I love you too. I can't see you, and we've probably never met, but there's a vibe, so I get it. I'm sending it and receiving it. Um, this is great. We hope to see you in 2022. All you beautiful people in the world. We're going to do a world tour. If you know this next song, congratulations. Lately, I've been, I've been losing sleep. Yeah. Dreaming about the things that we could be. Baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Oh, we'll be counting stars Woo! Like a swinging vine, swing my heart across the line. In my face is flashing signs. Seek it out, and he shall find. Oh, but I'm not that old, young, but I'm not that bold. And I don't think the world is sold, just to know what we're told. Kills me, makes me feel alive. Man, I've been, I've been losing sleep. Come on. Dreaming about the things that we could be. And baby, I've been, I've been praying hard. Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars. This is my lady, man. I've been, I've been losing sleep. Yeah. Falcons on Flamenco, everyone. Shout out, Spain.
Watch it burn, sink in the river, the lessons I've learned. You can take that money, watch it burn, sink in the river, the lessons I've learned. Thank you guys so much. Y'all rock. We do have one more performer. His first name starts with S. His last name starts with W. We have Stevie Wonder coming up, y'all. Showing over. First song I ever learned on piano, first song I ever remember hearing was I just called to say I love you. I just call to say how much I care. And he's coming up. It's up to my generation to change the world. I want to be a mechanical engineer and computer scientist because I believe that technology can solve some of the world's biggest challenges. As a Verizon Innovative Learning Mentor, I'm helping to educate my community on the importance of STEM. I want us to be empowered to create a better world and a sustainable planet. Growing up in Nigeria, I've seen firsthand how everything revolves around diesel. Virtually all of Nigeria runs on diesel generators. They're expensive and terrible for the environment. We have to reduce these carbon emissions. We have no choice. With partners like Access Bank, we are harnessing solar energy to transform businesses and impact communities. I envision a future where all Africans can have access to renewable power and clean air. For all of the uncertainties of this moment in history, we know all too well that COVID-19 will be a defining chapter of our generation. This crisis has stalled progress on ending extreme poverty, fueled a hunger crisis, and delayed meaningful progress on climate change. But in times of despair, there is always hope. And COVID-19 can be the catalyst the world's most powerful people need to bring about urgency and global cooperation to defeat poverty. It is our generation's duty to demand that the leaders with the power to do so overcome the hunger crisis that is happening right now by supplying meals to the 41 million people on the brink of starvation. That these leaders preserve our planet by committing to protect and restore a billion trees by 2022. And 
that they advance equity for all by striving for 2 billion vaccines delivered by the end of this year. On October 30th, the presidents and prime ministers of the world's biggest economies will meet in Rome for the G20 summit. So please join me and millions of global citizens around the world to demand that they take action to defeat poverty. It'll only be by working together that we can move the world. Today is an opportunity to inspire hope and to create change. And we are feeling the love on all seven continents. This is truly a global movement. I am so proud to be here tonight from the heart of Sydney, representing Australia for Global Citizen Live. So let's keep moving the world one action at a time. Global citizens, once again, the one and only Stevie Wonder. So this is a, this is a, yeah. This is a song called This I Know. And I want to have join me on this song, Miss Sheila E. Yes.
we ever know Peace, love's the only key I don't know Will the Middle East consist in harmony? I hope so